Hi, this is Nikki and I'm here to share the messages that I get from Spirit and from all of our higher selves that are helping on this journey to unconditional love. And that is love of the journey, love of the soul group, they're all helping to ground the, basically the energies of unconditional love onto the planet and to help us all into our unions. And so I was guided to set up a crystal grid um, on the Lionsgate last year for me and my twin. And it looks like this. When you join the grid, you receive a photo, a piece of rose quartz. And then you can, basically, the rose quartz is infused with the energies of unconditional love. And you become part of a soul group that are all helping to ground these energies into the physical. And it's all based around the forest lovers who are entwined together for eternity around the oak tree. And so, um, also, I do divine love healing. So I connect to your souls. I see everything like a film. And so I give you a write-up of everything I see. Um, you receive, uh, it's all done via Reiki, <laughs> Reiki and Karina, um, uh, Reiki, Holy Fire Reiki and Karina Reiki. But also I use crystals and shamanic healing and various other things as well. So, what the message is today. It's amazing how the universe brings things into your path for these messages to come out. Because I'm going to talk about a subject today that I don't really talk about, which is the dark versus the light. But things that happened yesterday and somebody has and the songs that have been sent through has made me know that they do actually want me to talk about it. Because um, on this journey, you know, there is, you know, the whole element around Star Wars, around the dark energies versus the light. And that is very, very true that there are, you know, there are basically energies around fear, around everything that are instilling fear into us so that the you know so the light um to try and stop the light from working but of course the light will always 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 prevail right and so that's why you have to look and see the bigger picture when you're looking at the different um basically the different behaviors of your twin is also because there are dark you know there are basically dark energies at play playing on fear to try to, you know, prevent these unions from happening as well. So that's why the, you know, all the guidance that we're getting about, you know, using the, the very, very strongly I get all the time about using the power of the fox, the animal, spirit animal magic to help us, you know, be undercover because the fox, the whole point about invoking the power of the fox is because they can get out of any situation. So they are super sleuths if you like and the reason why I know that I need to talk about this today is because I had an email chat with um, somebody that was coming to me for healing and they talked about there were some things going on for them that was you know really making them waver and I responded saying you know it really is you know I don't like talking about it but it really is like the Star Wars analogy about the dark versus the light so you just have to keep staying in the light and so that happened for me yesterday. And then last night I went out and the venue that I was in had, uh, it was bizarre. You know, when the, the things are so bizarre because it was a very oldie, worldy, um, oak lined pub. But on the walls, it had paintings of Prince and Princess Leia. <laughs> So, you know, when they, you just can't mistake it because it is so obscure and so bizarre that they were hanging in this very old traditional pub. And so I knew because I was like, I know you want me to talk about this because um, especially as we're coming nearer to this, you know, I know that everyone can sense this feeling of kind of like real excitement in the energies and then changing from excitement to fear to anger to all of this. Um, that is kind of like, you know, rustling everything up to the surface. And then the song that came through to me this morning was Trouble by Coldplay. Somebody sent it through. Now I look into the comments and there was a comment made by somebody called Yoda. And there were 69 likes against it when I looked at it. And there was also 11 replies. So I knew straight away that I was like, I know what you want me, I know that I have to talk about this. So 
my guidance is saying always, always, always protect your union. You know? So always invoke the power of Archangel Michael to protect your union. Always invoke the violet flame. If ever you think that you are, you know, I invoke the violet flame for me and my union and for people on the grid a lot, you know, multiple times a day. Whenever I feel that I've got some energies around me that I don't, you know, because I've had, it, I'm not going to talk about it, but I have very real experiences of, um, of dark energies. So, and I never want to experience that again. So that's why um, always invoke the violet flame, always invoke the uh, Archangel Michael to protect the union. And every day ask for the power of the fox to help you come back into your unions. So, I was, <laughs> so the other thing is, is that the other guidance for today is about the song, which is called, the song lyrics are trouble. Um, which is um, uh, this. So I'm going to read you the lyrics because this they want you to know. And then I also knew, because I was um, being guided this morning as well, that in the, um, uh, the, the spider was the animal spirit that I was to read out today. And then somebody sent me this song. So I was like, okay. So it is. Oh no, I see a spider web and it's tangled up with me. And I lost my head and the thought of all the stupid things I'd said. And oh no, what is this? A spider web and I'm caught in the middle. So I turned to run the thought of all the stupid things I've done. And I never meant to cause you trouble. And I never meant to do you wrong. And I, if I ever caused you trouble, I'm sorry, I never meant to do you harm. I see a spider web and it's me in the middle. So I twist and I turn and here am I in my little bubble singing out. I never meant to cause you trouble and I never meant to do you wrong. And I, if I ever caused you trouble, then I never meant to do you harm. They spun a web for me. They spun a web for me. So... You can understand why now I knew that when I read the, the lyrics to that song, I knew that I had to talk about it because the dark energies did spin a web, you know, for fear, for fear, for, you know, the fear of letting, you know, everything about the opposition of love to let love and light shine through. And of course, uh, that's what, we've all been fighting against, right? So the spit, and then that is exactly the web. It's the web of fear that we're fighting against. So I'm now gonna read the spider, um, the spider animal medicine from the medicine card book. And you're, again, I mean, it's, I'm speechless to be honest. I'm, I'm forever speechless on this journey. It's just amazing. So spider weaving webs of delight weave me a peaceful world carrying creation in your web and waiting to be unfurled spider wove the web that brought humans the first picture of the alphabet the letters were part of ang the angles of her web dear our spider what she was weaving and why all the lines looked like symbols and spider replied why dear it is time for Earth's children to learn to make records of their progress in their Earth walk. Dear answer spider, but they already have pictures that show through symbols the stories of their experiences. Yes, spider said, but Earth's children are growing more complex and their future generations will need to know more. The ones to come won't remember how to read the petroglyphs. So it was that spider wove the first primordial alphabet as she had woven the dream of the world that had become manifest. Spider's dream of the physical world had come to fruition millions of years before. Spider's body is made like the number eight, consisting of two lobe-like parts connected at the waist and eight legs. Spider is a symbol for the infinite possibilities of creation. Her eight legs represent the four winds of change and the four directions on the medicine wheel. Spider weaves the webs of fate for those who get caught in her web and become her dinner. This is similar to humans who get caught in the web of illusion in the physical world 
and never see beyond the horizon into the other dimensions. Those who get caught in fear, basically. The web of fate also represents a will of life, which does not include any alternatives or solutions. It is typically human to get caught in the polarity of good or bad fortune without realising that we can change it at any time. If we are not decisive enough about changing our lots in life, we may end up being consumed by our fears and our limitations. Spider is the female energy of the creative force that weaves the beautiful designs of life. Her web has hundreds of intricate patterns which, caught, which catch the morning dew. If Spider has dropped from her web into your cards today, she may be telling you to create, create, create. Look for new alternatives for your present impasse. She can also be warning you that you are coming too close to an entangling situation. Spider could be asking you to use a journal to write out and review your progress. If you do this, you will not forget how you are creating a new or different phase in your life. Spider brings a message of a different kind when she sees you becoming a bit too involved in the weaving of your, your life plans to notice opportunity at the outskirts of your web. If this is the case, Spider gets your attention so that you notice that something you have woven has borne fruit. Congratulations. Spider caught you just in time before you miss the opportunity or the edge of your web or reality. The most important message from Spider is that you are an infinite being who will continue to weave the patterns of life and living throughout time. Do not fail to see the expansiveness of the eternal plan. The eternal plan to bring love and light to the planet. So again, you know, an amazing message to receive from the divine counterparts through this message, through this song, through the message, which is to remember that we are actually, you know, fighting light against dark, fighting the dark with the light. So always look at that as the bigger picture to see past the behavior of your twin if you're not, you know, if they're doing things, because actually it's all built from fear and that is the dark energy. So remember, you are a light crusader on this journey. Use the power of the fox to help you both come home to your unity and to both come home to be the warriors of light. All right, well, I hope that helps. Thank you again so much to everyone that sings to plays the songs to me. There was um, the two Coldplay songs I'll put in the description box as ever. And this fox appeared on somebody's Facebook. Their daughter showed it to them yesterday. So... The power of the fox is always with us. All right, take care. Bye.